Hey YouTube, I'm here to show you my video game finds for July 27th, 2013. Uh, it was yesterday and overall it was probably the best day video games quantity wise I've ever had. Uh, looks like it's going to be a two part video. I think I got over 100 video games. Um, so, really good day I gotta say. Two places was where I got most of the stuff. I think I bought out one guy's whole collection and then the other place someone was a uh, it was like a fundraiser and someone donated a bunch of games so I'll show you what I got first where some of the garage sales where I only got one or two games and then I'll show you the other two parts later. So I got Army Men Air Attack 2 for the PlayStation 2, it paid 25 cents. Um, looked like I had a lot of video games but they were just a little bit late for me showing up. And then I got this at a church rummer sale, PlayStation 2 American Idol, paid a dollar. I only really bought it because it was sealed. And then uh, I got two PlayStation 1 games at a different place, Tekken 2 and uh, Garage Warriors. Uh, it looked like they had quite a few games, but it looked like someone bought them out. I just picked them up. I got two sports games, probably not the best pickup. Pay two dollars each, NCAA 2008 football and uh, NCAA 2010 football. And then it was a block sale, so um, next door someone was selling all their video games. I got uh, for five dollars two games Ratchet and Clank Size Matters for the PS2 and uh, Quake 3 Evolution for the PS2. And then at another place, they're posting that they had a PS3, Xbox 360, and some old video games. And uh, by the time I got there, the Xbox 360 was still there, but he wanted pretty much the retail price. And then the PS3, someone was pretty much buying all the games while I was there. So I picked up other stuff. I think I probably got a better deal out of it. So I got $5, Super Mario, Paper Mario, and uh, Crazy Taxi for the GameCube. And then I got a few other games, more PS games, but I got a Sega Dreamcast game, Sonic Shuffle. Bust a Move 2. And then, I don't know why I had two, but I was very happy about picking these up. Digimon Digital World, just disc only. But then he had, again, Digimon Digimon World Complete. I think this is the greatest hits, I wish it was Black Label. And then he had this Japanese game, I don't even know, I don't speak Japanese, it looks like it was like a very old uh, six games in one type thing. And then he had this on the side, a Sega Dreamcast. It is complete, uh, has the cords, I haven't tested it out but he kept saying I could try and I just assumed it was working. So for all of that I paid $23, really good deal. He only wanted $10 for the Dreamcast. Came with uh, one, two controllers. And one with the memory card in it. So it was a really good deal I would say. Uh, it all added up to $22.50 and I gave him $22.25 and he was like, where is the $0.25? Cents? <laughs> He really wanted $22.50, so I just gave him $23 to make him happy. Alright, so the rest of the stuff I got, two different places. Okay, so this one was actually with the block sale where I got the two PS3 games and the two PS2 games. Apparently someone works at Sony and donated maybe 50 to 60 sealed PS2 games, and so I just went through them. They wanted $5 each, but if you bought two you get one free so it worked out to be like three dollars thirty three cents and then I I was able to bundle it with three other sealed games so I'll go through these three sealed games before the Nintendo DS Super Monkey Ball Touch and Roll <laughs> I guess you're using the stencil a lot or the stylus to play that game another bust and move bust and move for the DS and then for the Game Boy Advance sealed but the box is in really rough shape Motocross Maniacs and then the rest of it is PS2. Like I said, these are all sealed, but I'll show you the back of one of them. They all got the prop with the with the the hole punched in and the serial number, but I'll still sell sell them as sealed. So I'm gonna go through it. I got I think 
pay 80 bucks for the lot, including the three Nintendo games. Uh, the Spiderwick Chronicles. The King of Fighters 98. Okay, a Crash Game Crash Mind Over Mutant. Another Crash Game. Crash of the Titans. Star Trek Conquest. Scarface. The world is yours. Brave. The search for spirit. Spirit answer. Guilty Gear X. Double X. Art of Fighting Anthology. Uh, this is hard to say. Uh, Bunga Naga's Ambition. Is that what it says? Bunga's Ambition. Are you men, soldiers of misfortune? Sega Superstars Tennis. Power Rangers Super Legends. Following Stars. Monster Lab. Looks like another Bust a Move Legends 2. It's got the Bust a Move guy in the center, but he's got a bunch of other stuff. Luxor Pharaoh's Challenge. Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. IR Radium Runner. Puzzle Quest. Raw Danger. World Heroes Anthology. One Piece Pirates Car Carnival. And finally, uh, Samurai Warriors 2 Extreme Legends. So, like I say, overall the games weren't, you know, the titles weren't that great for the PS2, but they're all sealed. Um, like I said, she probably had like three times as much stuff she had there sealed. Looks like someone was donating them for whatever reason they were having a I don't know exactly what they were trying to fundraise for, but I just picked out whatever looked looked good. I mean, obviously I didn't pick up any sports games. Um, some of the games I've seen that I know don't sell well, I didn't pick those up. So that's what I got, part of what I got. And then I'll show you what I got in part two at the other place. So uh, I'll be right back in a minute, okay? All right, see you in a second.